Yeah, what's poppin' loyalists? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dom ZNT, aka Glitch Guru. In this GTA 5 online video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the car to car Benny's merge completely solo. So bear with me, guys. This video is gonna be quite a long one, but hit that like button and let's get started. The very first thing that you guys wanna do is start up an invite only session. Make sure that you have your spawn location set to your bunker. You definitely wanna spawn into your bunker, but if you don't spawn into your bunker, it's okay. All you need to do is drive up to your bunker, job teleport up to your bunker, walk inside, walk back out, and you can continue with this glitch. Also, you want to have an arena workshop, and you want to have all of the vehicles that you want to merge in here along with a Fagio Sport or a Fagio Mod, which I have right here. So the very first step is to take the Fagio Sport or the Fagio Mod into the workshop like so. Once we have it inside of the workshop, we're just going to exit the vehicle. Now you guys also want to make sure that you have snacks, lots and lots of snacks, so go fill up on that. What we're going to try to do is eat our snacks and drop them right here by the back tire, which is the opposite side of the Fagio, which we got off. So stand right here, the opposite side of the Fagio, back tire, get it perfectly, and then open up the interaction menu, go to your inventory and start to eat your snacks. And when you're done eating your snacks, you're going to drop them right by the back tire. What we're looking for here is to pile the snacks up by the back tire so we can tip the Fagio over. All right, we want the Fagio to fall, hit the ground so we can move it out of the workshop. So we're trying to glitch the workshop out and this is the very first step so we can start merging our vehicles. All right, so I'm gonna continue to drop snacks right here by the back tire. We're gonna just try to get them to pile up as much as possible. Sometimes it's not even necessary to pile them up, but as you can see, some of the snacks that I'm dropping is moving the bike over, which is kind of like what we want. We wanted to move that way it symbolizes that we are going to get it to fall over when we do actually walk into it, all right? Because when we walk into the Fagio, it should move and it should slide over to the snacks, tipping it over, okay? So it's basically like hitting a mountain or a little hill and tipping it over, okay? So we're just creating a little tiny hill here. All right, so there we have it. I dropped enough snacks, I would say. And what we're going to do here is just walk to the opposite side of it and we're just going to walk up against it. All right. Just like this. Now, you might not think that is doing anything, but just holding up on the left analog stick is moving the bike. But you do want to kind of wiggle back and forth so you can get that walking animation. It'll help you get it a little bit faster. If that still isn't working for you, you guys can open up the interaction menu, go into your inventory and start smoking a cigarette, which will allow you to walk no matter what, as long as you're smoking that cigarette and walk up against the bike and move it and push it over. So eventually I do get this bike to tip over without doing that. So I'm just walking, holding up on the left analog stick and boom, the bike falls over and that's what we were looking for, all right? So now that the bike has fell, what we wanna do now is slide it. The best way to slide the bike is to walk up against the front of the bike. That's pretty much the only way it will move and slide. So. Just follow what I'm doing right here and we're going to move it outside of that white box, just slightly outside of that white box that you see outside of the arena workshop. So I'm just walking up against it right here and I'm just angling my camera left and right so I can get it to move where I want. And we want to have it in the middle of this box outside of the arena workshop. So let's try to get it to that spot and just try your best to get this bike over there because I know it's not easy, but uh, it's pretty uh, simple guys. So. Let's get into it. So right there, I'm just gonna move it one more time, try to line it up so I can get it to stay in the middle of the white box. And notice guys that I'm moving it from the front of the bike, all right, the front of the bike. Now right here, you guys wanna be careful. You don't wanna slide it too much from here. So I'm not gonna get no running start or a walking start here. I'm gonna just try to slide it very slightly. Now we, we kinda want it to be right about here, but this isn't far enough out. You want it to, you see the crack right there between the white line and the, the gray part of the arena workshop right there. You want it to be over that crack right here, okay? So outside of that crack right here is a bad example of us hitting this, all right? So we have two options when we pick the bike up and get on it. We only wanna have one option here. But as you guys can see, I have two options there, one to hit left on the D-pad and one to hit right on the D-pad. We only wanna have one option right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk up against the bike and move it out. We're just gonna keep walking up against it until we move it across this line right there. Not the white line, but the crack that you see in the ground. Once we get it perfectly into position, we should only have one option when we get onto the bike. So I'm gonna keep trying to move it until I only have that one option. 
so right about here I should get that option right there that's what we want guys we only want that one option to hit right on the d-pad at the top left that you guys see right there once we have that we are able to move on with the next step of this glitch now what we want to do is hop off of this bike go grab any one of our vehicles and we're going to try to go into the workshop with that vehicle and it's going to allow us to go into the workshop now because we have just successfully glitched the workshop out so we're pretty much going to grab any vehicle i do suggest that you guys grab a vehicle that has some weight to it so you can push the bike back into the workshop so we're going to hop in our car hit right on the d-pad and at the same time we're trying to push this vagio back into that white box now all right we're trying to get it back into the white box so i have my vehicle in here i'm just going to exit that vehicle and go check to see if my faggio is inside of the white box and it is not so i'm gonna try to push it in by walking up against the front of it and maybe i can get it in there if not then we're gonna hop back into our car drive it out of the workshop and then drive it back into the workshop so we can drag the bike back into that white box right there i don't want to mess around with it too much because we don't want to get it stuck outside of the arena workshop so we want to get it back into the white box now so i'm gonna drive this car out drive it back into the workshop and hopefully it drags the bike a little bit more into the white box so we can get it in there and we can get this glitch going so i'm gonna exit the vehicle again and we're gonna go check to see if we got it to drag a little bit more and i think it did move some so it's back over the crack now so we should be good so i'm gonna just pick it up right here and see if we got two options so now we have two options when we get on the bike and we have a car inside of the workshop at the same time this is what we want now what we're going to do is just hit left on the d-pad return this bike to storage and now our workshop is officially glitched out all of the hard work is done all we need to do now is pick the car that we want to merge so i want to get some bennies and the color onto this vehicle right here i'm gonna just hop inside of it hit right on the d-pad and take it into the workshop now it doesn't matter which two cars you have in the workshop as long as you have two cars in the workshop at the same time that you want to merge together all right so it doesn't matter which one you bring in first or which one you bring in second so say i brought this car that wasn't modded in first it's fine all i would have to do is go back out and bring the other vehicle in if your car flips upside down like it did right there all you guys want to do is exit the workshop and drive back in and try again if the other car gets flipped then you guys will need to start over because there's no way to get into a flipped car so if that happens it's very unfortunate but you need to start the glitch over from scratch i would suggest that you just drive out and then start it over from the faggio mod so now what we want to do is exit this vehicle as soon as possible otherwise it will keep moving around but we don't want that so we're just going to hop out of that vehicle hop into the car that has the mods on it that we want to transfer and then we're just going to hit right d-pad and exit that car we're not going to change anything on it just hit right d-pad exit the car now what we're going to do is hop into the car that we want to get the modifications on and we're going to press options down and hold that button down then we're going to let it go and start spamming left d-pad as quick as possible so hold options down let go of options and spam left d-pad once you guys do that the car should get returned to storage and you should still be standing here what you want to do then is close your map and then go into first person do your action by hitting L3 and R3 at the same time. That's going to unglitch you because you might run over to the mechanic over there or run over to where the RC is automatically and be stuck running. In order to get that fixed, all you need to do is go into first person, hit L3 and R3 at the same time so you guys can do an action like so. But once you guys go out, you see my car is now merged and we have a Benny's merge officially solo car to car merge. Now what you guys want to do is make sure that you do save the modifications that we transferred over to this vehicle by taking this car back into the mod shop, hit right D-pad and change one thing on the vehicle. And that's pretty much all there is to it. All you need to do is change something on the vehicle and it is officially saved. Now let's say you guys want to merge multiple vehicles like this one right here is a stock car. Let's say we want to merge it all we need to do is hop in it hit right d-pad as long as all of these cars are inside of the workshop already before we start the glitch we can keep merging all right the workshop will stay glitched out so i'm gonna just hit right d-pad take this vehicle inside of the workshop like so hopefully the cars do not flip exit this vehicle as soon as possible then we're going to get this vehicle out of here because i don't want to keep using this vehicle to merge so i'm just hit left d-pad to return it to storage we're done with it we don't need it any longer so now we can grab the car that we want to get the modifications from which is this one right here is a russell 
La Zarazo. 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 Zar. Hit right D pad. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's hit right D pad. Take it into the workshop. Like so. As you guys can see, the workshop is still glitched out. All right. Hopefully, these vehicles do not flip. All right. We're good. And as you guys can see, I'm going to just hit circle and then exit the vehicle once my car is away from that other vehicle. Like so just to get it to stop moving now i'm gonna hop back in it i'm gonna hit right d-pad not gonna change anything hit circle exit the vehicle now we're gonna hop into this car and we want to get the modifications on and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna hold down on the options button let it go spam left d-pad all right just hold down on the options button let it go spam left d-pad and just keep spamming it like so boom get out of the pause menu Go into first person really quickly. Do your action like so. Ta-da. And we now have another vehicle officially merged. Just remember to save these vehicles after you merge them. You want to take them back into the workshop and change something on it. All right. So we now have our Gauntlet Classic right here on Benny's. That y'all looking crazy, right? Two-tone right there. It's a very nice car. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you merge cars, solo, car to car, Benny's merge. If this video helped you, let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys have any questions, let me know as well. But as always, we're trying to get this channel up to 100,000 subscribers. And I need each and every single one of you guys watching to do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications if you're new so you never miss a single video. Please help me help you, you guys, and keep bringing you these great GTA 5 online videos. Go check out the merch store. We got those loyalist hoodies up. You can get them for women, men, kids, babies, infants, snakes, any. <laughs> we have them for everybody, all right, guys? So go check out the store. I will leave a link to the merch store in the description as well. But make sure you save your vehicles, and that's all there is to it, guys. Until next time, this is your boy, Glitch Guru, officially. Ew. Peace. Remember. Stay loyal and click one of those videos on the screen, man. What you waiting for? That's a good video right there. Damn.